Hey guys, we're going to be learning about the atmosphere. Um, we talked about the different types of spheres, and out of all the spheres, we're going to be specifically looking at the atmosphere because the atmosphere has uh, four of its own layers. So first of all, um, if you this is probably a repeat from what the notes from last week, but um, uh, the atmosphere is made up of a mixture of gases that surround the Earth. Um, it's going to be 95% nitrogen. 21% oxygen, and less than 1% will be argon, carbon dioxide, water vapor, um, ash from volcanoes, uh, pollution, things like that. So here, I like this little uh, pie graph. You can see that most of the atmosphere is actually nitrogen, um, oxygen, that's how we breathe, uh, carbon dioxide, we breathe that out, um, argon, and all the others. Um, very important is air pressure. The atmosphere is held by gravity and it pulls the molecules towards the Earth's surface. So the closer you are to the surface, so the surface would be like what we're standing on. So we are in probably the highest level um, of air pressure. And as, at, so this is altitude. Altitude is just how high up you are. So the higher the altitude, the air pressure decreases. So as we're learning about all the different layers, we're gonna start with like the closest layer that we're on. So the closest to the surface. Um, all the molecules, and what I mean by pressure is all the molecules are super close together so because of gravity. So they're pulled tight together, and as you get higher up, the air pressure decreases. Like if you're on top of a mountain, for instance, um, your, ears might, your ears might pop. Um, your, it's going to be harder to breathe because the air pressure is lower. Um, temperature. So temperature is different depending on the different... Uh, um, atmospheric layers, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, as altitude increases, the air temperature will change on the different ones are different, and I'll go into that. On the Earth's surface, though, it depends on the solar energy absorption. So, for instance, we live closer to the water. So in Florida, um, it may be warmer by us than it is in central Florida because the water helps absorb all the sun rays, and in the winter even, it keeps it maintained, keeps it warm. So in the mountains, it might be cooler. Each in Central America would be warmer because it's got water and it's in Central America. A paved road would be warmer because it conducts uh, energy and the surface of a desert would be warmer. So um, it depends on different. So we're talking about the Earth's surface right now. Um, different places will have different temperatures. Okay, so let's get to the layers of the atmosphere. So the, um, they're divided into four layers. Um, you need to know them in order from like the lowest to the highest. Be careful when reading the question. Um, the lowest is the troposphere. Tropo means turning because it's turning all the gases. All the gases that we, troposphere is what we're on. So all the gases are mixed together. Um, and you have as, and then now we're getting higher up. So we're going, um, our altitude is getting higher. Then we have the stratosphere. Then we have the mesosphere. Strato means layered because those gases are not mixed, they're layered. The ozone is part of that. Meso, meso means middle. It's your middle layer, the mesosphere. Um, that's where asteroids and meteorites burn out. And the thermosphere. Um, thermosphere is that uh, thermo means um, hot. And the exosphere, um, which I don't have that on here, but that would be like the last layer. The exosphere is technically part of, not part of the atmosphere. It's kind of part of the um, space. So that's why it's not on there. Okay, so let's start with the first one. So we're going to go into each one. We're going to start off with troposphere. So the troposphere, that's where we are. We're, on, we're in the troposphere, um, and you can see here it's going to be basically all the way up to the clouds. Um, it, it's the most dense. It's the most dense because the troposphere is the, has the lowest altitude. Um, the temperature decreases, so the, it's very important that you know which one, how the, de de the temperature reacts. So um, the temperature decreases as altitude increases. We know that. So um, in an airplane, it would be colder than if you were down low. Um, on a mountain, you'd be colder than if you were down here. Um, in the troposphere, you have water, vapor, clouds, pollution, weather, and us, life forms. Um, all the gases mix and they turn together. So everything is mixed in together. So the troposphere is our first one. Um, right above the troposphere, we have the stratosphere. So this is when we just talked about troposphere. If we went above that, we'd be, so we're increasing our altitude, um, we would be in the stratosphere. Uh, this includes your ozone layer. That's important also to know. You'll get a question about that. Um, it's less dense than the troposphere. So it's less dense because the gravity is pulling it all down here. So altitude increases. The temperature, it's different here. Um, as the altitude increases, the temperature increases, and that's because the ozone layer 
um, absorbs all the sun rays. Um, so again, sorry, um, as the altitude increases, your temperature increases, which is different than the troposphere. Um, the ozone layer, which is this right here, uh, absorbs the sun, which warms up the stratosphere. The gases are all layered. They don't mix. So there's layers upon layers of gases. They do not mix. Um, then you have the mesosphere. Uh, the mesosphere means, meso means metal. It's one in the middle. Um, this one, as temperature, the temperature will decrease as altitude increases. So as you go up, it's going to get colder. Um, again, very important that you know the difference. You're going to have a question where you have to know which, how the temperatures react um, with um with altitude. Um, it's less dense than the stratosphere, right? Because we're getting more, our altitude is going up. So dense, less dense, even less dense. Um, this is where meteoroids will start to burn out in asteroids. So they'll hit here. That's why we're pretty safe is because they'll actually burn out in our mesosphere. Um, the uppermost layer is the thermosphere. So this is like, this is where you're going to find where, like right before your exosphere, and exosphere is kind of a part of it, but um, in this one, the temperature will increase as altitude increases because the outer layer absorbs sunlight. Um, it's the lowest density. Thermo means heat. It's very hot, but actually your body wouldn't, it wouldn't feel hot to you because there's like, the particles are so spread out um, because the density is so low which is kind of interesting. So, um, but yeah, so those are all the layers of the atmosphere. I'll go back to this picture real quick. Um, troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and then thermosphere. Um, you need to know for each one, like the order, um, how temperature is, and you need to know as you increase um, altitude, it, uh, um, as you increase altitude, it decreases density. So this is like the most dense, and this would be the least dense. Troposphere stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere. Okay, that's all.